happy vlogmas day 22 my mom and my dad are laughing at me because i just woke up and it's 1 28 no it's not i'm telling y'all it's not that late it's not and excuse I excuse me whoever listens to jacqueline and i know my store or jackie does so hi jackie <laughs> yep anyway um christmas has passed and so has new year welcome to 2024 jack you overslept they act like I, i'm just saying when i'm in college and it's a Sunday. I'm not getting up to like 4 p.m. sometimes. You mean you don't worship on Sundays? I worship from the comfort of my room and pray. But I was in the mood for some waffles. So I'm going to make this Kodiak pancake waffle thing. And yeah, that way I can be held over for a while because I have a doctor's appointment. I have to, I have to go this place at four ish i think is it four? Is it 345 okay 345 um and then we're gonna go to dc to go to this holiday market but between that i think i will probably be baking for christmas so and we aren't gonna eat till like 8 p.m so i was like might as well make me like a hearty brunch mom brunch because it does exist um and yeah, I'll show y'all what I shove up. I would like to say I kind of snapped on this breakfast. I'm gonna be full for a minute. Whew. How was it? How was it? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I had an issue with my appointment. Can I put y'all up here, maybe? Actually, I could. Hold on. Okay. I was supposed to have my little appointment, and I had missed it twice so far. Well, like, I didn't miss it more so. Well, I missed it. Um, But, like, I was there the first time, and then they were like, you took too long to get here, so we had to cancel, even though I had called them and said I was on my way. But, you know, sir. And then, um... The other time I was getting my tooth filled, this was like two days ago, when I went to the dentist and I couldn't make the appointment because I just was still getting my tooth filled and I just didn't have the timing right. But, um, when did I get ready with me? I've never done any of these. I've already washed my face and like prepped it. So now I'm actually also pulling with some makeup. But, uh, yeah. So, mind you, I've had this appointment scheduled for a few days. And I'm um, on my way to the appointment, and I am running late because um, I have to wait for my parents to pick me up. And they're going to tell me, like, 10 minutes after the appointment was supposed to start, when I was, like, literally there almost. Well, I ran out of my favorite primer. It's a good primer. There's no more. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the hydrating one by Elf instead. Elf is also good, so not too bad. But anyways, um, they're going to come and tell me that they don't have the device that I need, so there's no point in me even coming to this appointment. So now I have to come next Friday because they wanted me to come on Tuesday. That's my sister's birthday. And they wanted me to come, they can come Wednesday. And I have uh, someone today in Uber. So the device I need to like sleep with is like a sleeping device. Um, so I can't do it on Monday either. So now I'm gonna go wait again. Um, it's like a little bit annoying, but it is what it is, I guess. Anywho. Um, yeah, I was a prime the phase. My parents decided to take us to the Christmas market, and I believe my cousins are coming with us. I was supposed to go with Priscilla, um, but unfortunately, because of the appointment I was supposed to have earlier, I couldn't go the time that she wanted to go. And so, a little salty about that, but I'm going to see her tomorrow. It's her birthday. So... That is good. Next, I'm going to go with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. So this is going to be like a kind of sad get ready with me. I don't really have anything to really talk about. I should ask like y'all some questions. I can talk about my semester. My semester was kind of 
bad. Like I really had a terrible semester, not even grades wise. Actually, one of my grades, my teacher says I have like a D, which like, what? That's not me. Why would I have a D plus? So I've had a D last year for econ because I wasn't good at econ, but this class I was actually really good at. And like, I would never get like below like a C or anything on like my stuff. Like my, most of my exams I got C's on. And so like my grade should at least be a C. And on Canvas, it's an C plus at a 79. Exactly. And I was upset because I was like, oh, I worked all this hard, so hard. And now I'm like, Fitting, finishing with a 79 which is like so close to a B and so I had to email the TA and she was like no you finished with a 79 we did extra credit throughout the year so there's no rounding of grades and I was like okay I did extra credit I did all this stuff so can't really do anything so I was like okay cool and then I go check my final grades on canvas because I wanted to see what grades I ended up getting. And I ended up getting two A's in classes I didn't expect to get an A in because I like bombed my final for Investor Financial Literacy. But I ended up getting an A in the class. Um, just because I like I was, did the work, I attended class. So that's probably why I got a good grade. But anyways, um, so yeah. And then um, my cinema class, I ended up getting an A in too. So I had three A's, a B plus, and then this D. And I was like, why in the world do I have a D? And I emailed my teacher and I was like, hey, like I talked with the TA, um, should not have a D. And she was like, no, like, unfortunately this is the grade that you got. Um, it checked out all this stuff and like, you have a D. And I was like, I know you're lying. I said that, I just emailed her and I was like, okay um this doesn't really make sense to me but like thank you for getting back to me um just send me like the grade breakdown so i can understand why i got this grade because i was really like, confused tell me why the system was messed up so i never had a d like i have accommodations for like extra time and because of that certain tests are set for a different time and so it's like a whole different test and because I didn't take like the regular test, I took the one extra time, it brought my grade down because they were, it just wasn't in the system is what I'm guessing. And so now I have to go through this whole process, or like she does, to like fix my grade. And I was like, what in the world? I'm glad I checked my final grades before the semester ended because this could have ended really badly with me not having a good grade. And like, I instead of have my GPA was a three point like two like a three point one two, and now I'm at three point five with that grade going up. So I really want that grade to be fixed soon, especially because I want to be on dean's list. And yeah, <laughs> that was me just kind of rambling about that. I really, I really have nothing to, else to really say. Like there's other stuff I could talk about, but um, I don't want to because I'm gonna start crying, and I would rather mm, not cry. Oh, I got makeup on. Like, putting me putting on makeup is too pretty, ish, and not cry on camera. And the only time I ever cried on camera was um, what's it called? When I went to when I couldn't get on the plane with Charlie, and I was stuck by myself in the Milan airport for like eight hours, which was like low key kind of traumatizing. To this day, I don't think I've yet to get over that because like I was all alone, all by myself, freaking out. Not really, like getting on the plane wasn't even bad. Like having to go through like TSA by yourself isn't that bad. And I don't know if y'all knew, that was only my second time when I flew overseas getting on the plane. The first time I was in 10th grade, I went to go visit my aunt and my grandmother for some holiday. I don't even know why we went down there to be quite honest. Like, oh, it's like November. So, it wasn't really like a big holiday or anything. Like, it wasn't Thanksgiving. It was like Veterans Day, I think. Literally like Veterans Day. And we went, and it was cool. I got to see my cousins. I haven't seen them since then. But I hope they are doing well. They, wow, I'm just really rambling. Like, there's literally no purpose in this video. Um, I'm going in with another NYX color. This is Sweet Cheek um this is a very 
bright red, like bright red. So I have to like be careful when I use this because it is so pigmented. It's called a red riot. And I got it because of anime character. Um, I used to love my hero like a lot. I still love the shot. I need to catch up on it, but like my hero was my favorite anime. And because of that, like if y'all have been watching me for a while, I like was obsessed with that show. And because of the show, I was like, oh, like I should get this um color because it's like him. But yeah. <laughs> What are y'all like go to makeup tips because I am not that good doing makeup quite honestly. I just like put stuff on my face and hope for the best. Um literally that is all I do. I'm just like, well, I hope that it turns out nice, like so, well is me. Um I do. I'm a big blush gal. I love me some blush. Um, I think this color only looks good in the summer because now I think my skin is a little bit too light for it. Next. Um, I'm just gonna touch this up a little bit. I like I don't want anything kind of just talking. How have you guys liked Vlogmas? Like, was it a good idea? I know a lot of them were probably like really boring and like they kind of sucked because I really wanted them to be like super interesting. But like, I do go to school, I'm a full time student, and like I'm not going on. Like, I remember back in like the prime of Vlogmas, like you two were going like Big Bear. I remember like I wanted to go to Big Bear so bad. Like, as um, when I was younger, because like all the influencers were going to Big Bear, like. That was like the thing. Um, going on like big ski trips with your friends um, and stuff like that. Like, did y'all like Vlogmas? Should I do it again? Like, I wanna do it again because next year's my last year in undergrad. Hopefully. Hopefully, I don't gotta repeat anything else. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, was it even worth it? Like, did people like it? Like, I feel like the Target Challenge was really fun. And I think vlogging, like, some of the days is nice um maybe i could do like a bigger vlog like but i think it also like, it's just been like a dream of mine to post content every single day and so like i mostly did it because it was like a dream of mine like not because i thought it was gonna be like super super amazing i just like kind of wanted to prove to myself that i could be consistent with something and i think that really helped me like just like try out different things um not be so serious online as well like i thought it was just <laughs> like y'all saw me stressing about school like these are like things that most people go through and like all that stuff so i felt like i was being like authentic this is the what's it called juvia's place it's that like with the african lady on it and I, I think that's what it's called it's really good palette like um i remember when people were talking about it yeah my bathroom but yeah um i really just wanted to do it more so to like give me like motivation and dedication that i can do something every day like i go to school every day like i do a lot of things every day but like uploading content isn't something that I do every day and like I've been slacking a lot this year since I got to college I just haven't been posting 
as much as I used to. But I used to post like a video every week, but it was just kind of like hard to do. But I feel like not everything has to be like super, super perfect. And I can take time, to, like edit just like a little bit every day in my classes. I'm not taking as many credits as I used to, but I used to take like 19, 18, 19 credits every semester. Now I'm only taking 12 next semester, maybe 12 or 15. I did 12 last semester. I only took 15 last semester, sorry. And I think I'm going to be able to make a lot more content, hopefully. But like, I feel like I'm being, I've always wanted to be someone on YouTube who could, I like, just like social media in general, like, I wanted to be authentic. And I felt like doing Vlogmas was like the most like authentic I've been making content. Honestly, just because I had to show y'all what I did every single day. And every day of my life is definitely not interesting. Like, it's definitely really boring sometimes. I, I don't do anything. Sometimes I just sit in my bed and like cry. Like, that's like me. <laughs> and um, I feel like I really got to show that with the Vlogmas. And I definitely want to continue that in the new year. And also, I've always wanted to be like on my gym grind, like healthy grind. And just like, let's get bored after a while. Like, I went to the gym a lot more during Vlogmas, but it also was, like, a big indicator of why I wasn't. But now I'm not wearing my boot anymore. Okay. Uh, like, I'm not wearing my boot anymore. I'm kind of just, like, trying to figure it out. Like, my foot still, like, really hurts. But, like, no one can tell me what is going on with it. So, that kind of, like, really sucks. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, I got like 10 minutes to get ready. I be one of those people, but I got genuinely like 10 minutes to get ready. So, I'm gonna go like fix my hair off camera. Stop just like randomly talking. I don't know what I've been talking about. But yeah, if y'all like Vlogmas, let me know. Um... It's been interesting, it's been a good experience, and I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. So let me know how y'all actually felt about it, and I'll see y'all when I get dressed. In DC, we literally only have like 20 minutes here, cause we thought that the Christmas market was open way longer, but it's not. But we're gonna go show you guys. It's such an amazing market. I don't know how long it's gonna be open for. I'll look it up, and then like insert the dates or whatever. But if you can go, I definitely recommend. I went last year, it was so much fun. We got like cheese and soul food, arts, Shake Shack if you want Shake Shack. There's Chloe, she dyed her hair blue. Again. <laughs> Tell me it looks good, please. <laughs> well, um, the Cheerios are not here, uh, so they happen, but Alexis and Bananas, if you ever see them, go get them, best Cheerios ever. We found some donut place in the line. It's crazy. But everyone seems like they like it, so we're gonna stand here and try it. We are currently lost in this hotel. We cannot find the exit. <laughs> we went to the bathroom, and I get to see the exit, and all I see is presidents everywhere. Well, where I'm going. Okay. Aren't these the stairs we took? I don't think so. Oh god. Okay, elevator. Oh, how are you? No, never mind. But I remember ice was the other one. Yeah. God, where are we? And this is what the hotel looks like, by the way. <laughs> yeah, our mother was like, where is she these kids at? To be honest, I don't know. Look at all the presidents. I just realized that we went to the second floor, not the first floor. Um, so we just need to go back upstairs. This place is so pretty. These are good. We have gone back to home. 
We are at Target. We're gonna get some last minute Christmas stuff, I guess. Okay, I literally just realized um, that it's like 10, 12 at night. And I need to edit this and post this before um, midnight. I'm gonna try my best. So I'm gonna end the video here. I had a really fun time in DC. Um, I definitely think that like if um, we had gone earlier, holiday market would have been really cool. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do during this time of year. So if you live in the DMV or you see yourself wanting to go try new things, I definitely recommend going there. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.